Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Yes, it's my iPhone, but it might as well be an iPod Touch. It doesn't matter. I've got a Chris Perlow icon right there. Can you see my little logo? The Neo Chris logo that one of you guys made? A community member at live.perillo.com. And I've got the Chris Perillo icon sitting right there on my home screen. And when I tap it, it pulls open this website, chris.perillo.com. That's my blog. And when you pull open my blog on your iPhone or your iPod Touch, it's going to look a lot different than it would look if you visit it on the uh, desktop browser because I'm running a plugin for WordPress. WordPress is my blogging platform. And the plugin is called WP Touch. Both of those, by the way, are free. And what WP Touch does is it automatically reformats my blog, gives it a completely different style, completely different layout, and optimizes it specifically, specifically for the iPhone or the iPod Touch. And why that's nice is, well, you've probably got an audience, you know, wanting to view your content. And if they're visiting you, uh, if you're watching your logs, uh, all your traffic logs, if they're visiting you from the iPhone or the iPod Touch, then you want to give them a great experience. There's no better or easier way of giving them a good experience than by using WP Touch in conjunction with a blog that's running on WordPress. As I drill down into the actual content piece, I could preview that on the home page. I can actually uh, cascade out and give a brief previews or then dive in deeper and, and leave comments on these specific blog posts or read other people's comments. But it loads quick, it's fast, and it's clean. It's a great way of getting content and having it specifically optimized. In fact, it even uses Gravatars. And those, you might remember, are little avatars that if you've uh, signed up for the free Gravatar service, your little avatar will show up next to your comments. So if I go back, I'll, I'll show you again how I can get a brief preview of each particular post just by tapping the little down arrow next to each little headline. It is so simple. And in fact, there's even a little search box at the top. Someone, anyone can search my blog by tapping on search. Now you might be asking, how did I get the Chris Perillo icon? Well, if someone's viewing your website and they press the little plus button at the bottom of the Safari browser on the iPhone or the iPod Touch, they can select Add to Home Screen. And when they do that, this little graphic right here has been put on my web server and is automatically pulled in by the iPhone or the iPod Touch when they go to add it to their home screen. Huh? So even if you don't have the iPod or the iPhone, and the iPod being the iPod Touch at this point, you still want to do that because you don't know who out there in your audience does have an iPod or an iPhone and are trying to browse your website. You want to give them an amazing experience. And if nothing else, you can create this image with ease. Open up your favorite image editor and you're going to create a ping file. That stands for Portable Network Graphic. We've covered that in the past. Now, I've heard the size of the ping file can vary between 60 by 60 all the way down to 47 by 47. Uh, I think this is 57 by 57. I, I, I don't know what it is. It looks good. And so when I uh, uploaded that image file, I uploaded it to my root directory when I uploaded it to the web server, and I named it, and this is very important, apple-touch-icon.png. And that has to be in your root directory. And when you do that, it will automatically pull that in. And that's how Facebook does it. That's how Flytunes does it. That's how Holo does it. That's how FriendFeed does it. And if you don't have a custom icon, then you see some of these other shortcuts. They just kind of look generic. Eh, kind of stink. You've got to encourage everybody with the website to create their own Apple Touch icon. It's easy to do. It's free to do. And whether you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch or not, you want to do this for your audience. And better yet, if you have a blog that's running on the WordPress platform, install WP Touch. Both things are free and easy. Now, if anybody else out there has got great tips uh, for optimizing everybody's experience with the iPhone or the iPod Touch, feel free to pass them along. Feel free to stop by my blog. Leave a comment when you're browsing it on your iPhone or your iPod Touch. 
Uh, now, of course, this is not the full Chris Perillo experience as you would normally get at chris.perillo.com uh, on your desktop web browser, but it's a good experience if you want to catch up on that day's content. It's always going to be available, and you know that we're always going to be streaming here. Well, it'd be these people down here underneath my iPhone. These, these are real people. They're chatters, and they're chatting away with a live video here 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll eat you later.